Hi there. Welcome to Quick Cloud CDN. There are several ways to set up Quick Cloud for your website, and one of the easiest is to use the CNAME method. In this practical guide, we'll show you how to set up your www subdomain for Quick Cloud CDN using Direct Admin. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you will need the following Direct Admin Control Panel, a WordPress website that is using www or some other subdomain. If you're currently using a root domain like example.com, then you will need to switch to a subdomain like www.example.com before you can use this method. See the link in the description for documentation and a video that explains how to do that. You will also need the Lightspeed Cache plugin for WordPress installed and activated. Now let's dive right into setting up our CNAME record for the www subdomain. First, we'll pair your WordPress and Quick Cloud account. From your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Lightspeed Cache, then General, and click the Request a Domain Key button on the right side of the Domain Key box. You will see a notification at the top of the page, indicating that the application was successful. Wait a few minutes and then refresh the page. You will see your new key displayed in the Domain Key setting. Then, create a Quick Cloud account. To register your Quick Cloud account, click the Link to Quick Cloud button. You will be redirected to Quick Cloud to register. Choose a password, agree to the Quick Cloud terms and conditions, and click Register. Check your email for a validation message from Quick Cloud and confirm your account by clicking the activation link within. Back in WordPress, you will know the connection was successful when you see the Visit My Dashboard on Quick Cloud button on the General page. Next, we're going to enable Quick Cloud CDN. There's two steps for doing this. First, you need to turn it on in the WordPress plugin, and then you need to enable it on the Quick Cloud side. From your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Lightspeed Cache, then CDN. Set Quick Cloud CDN to On, and press the Save Changes button. Then, navigate to your Quick Cloud dashboard at my.quick.cloud. Click your domain name and navigate to CDN. Click Enable CDN in the CDN Overview box. Quick Cloud will ask you to choose which method you'd like to use to set up the CDN. Choose CNAME and press the Confirm Choice button. Quick Cloud will provide you with a CNAME record value. Copy this and save it for the next step. Access your Direct Admin Control Panel and locate the Account Manager section. From there, navigate to DNS Management. If you find an existing A record associated with your www site, then delete it. Click Add Record to create a new CNAME record. Set name to your www URL and paste the CNAME value that Quick Cloud provided into the value field. Add a period to the end of the CNAME value as prompted. Then save your changes. Back in the Quick Cloud dashboard, navigate to CDN, then CDN Config. This screen will show your CDN settings in detail and the status of your CNAME verification. Please be aware that the DNS change might take a while to be effective. Once DNS is configured, you will want to verify two things. That the auto-detected server IP is correct and that the CDN is working. Let's look at each step in more detail. To verify if the auto-detected server IP is correct, click Settings in the top navigation bar and check the auto-detected server IP. Compare the IP addresses you see with the IP addresses configured on your WordPress site in your hosting control panel. The IP addresses must match. Here's a simple way to tell if Quick Cloud CDN is serving your site. Use the lscache check tool at check.lscache.io. Enter your URL and check the response headers. Look for the xqcpop header. If it's there, it means your site was accessed via a Quick Cloud POP. Your site was configured correctly, and you are good to go. Congratulations, your site is now using Quick Cloud CDN. At this point, Quick Cloud CDN should be enabled and ready to serve your content to a global audience. If you're experiencing any trouble, please see our documentation or open a ticket with our friendly support team. If you'd like to see these instructions for another control panel, please see the description below. We have more control panel configuration videos coming soon, and we'll update the description when they're available. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. See you soon.